Hey guys, it's Chili here. Let's take a look at the tutorial 23 homework. We had two tasks. Task number one was to center the field in the screen. Task number two was to handle the situation where you win the game. So let's go on, first of all, task number one. Oh, before I before I talk about that shit, so I added an extra commit after the end of tutorial 23.2. And in that one, all I do is I add an extra sprite for the uh, the win condition, and I add a sound that we're going to be using for when you lose. So that's it. Just a couple of uh, resources added in here if you want. You can branch off here and use them as you will. So, first things first, we want to be drawing not from the top left-hand corner of the screen, but we want to draw our field in the center of the screen. So, I'm going to create a V2 and that's going to hold the top left-hand corner of our field on the screen. Uh, now, we're going to use this to draw our bullshit. So, we need to go, we need to switch over and draw. Okay, so right now we're, we're assuming that we're just drawing from the top left-hand corner and we're calculating the position on the screen by the grid position times the size of a tile. Uh, and that's a vector multiplication, so you're multiplying the x and the y by that. But that's if you're on, if you're starting from zero, zero. But if you're not starting from zero, zero, you need to add that start point to your uh, coordinate. So you just go top left plus grid position times sprite codex tile size, and you're all good to go and draw. That's all you need to do there. Real nice and simple. Now forget rect. Also, rather simple. Uh, what all you got to do is use a different goddamn constructor. So in here we're using the top, uh, left, right, top, bottom constructor. We want to be using now is the top left uh, plus the width and the height. So we'll just put top left in here directly. Here's the width. Delete this one. Here's the height. And there you go, now you've got your rectangle based on your top left corner instead of zero, zero. What else? Uh, maybe there's other things, but I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna go into that right now. I think we're good. Now we need to go into our constructor and we need to change that as well. That's gonna change the signature. So first off, let's find our stupid constructor. There it is. Let's pass in a constant v2 uh, center, no. Do we want to, yeah, we'll pass it in by center. So the, uh, the collar of the constructor is going to pass in a center point. Uh, and then we need to calculate the top left based on the center. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to go, uh, let me think here. Hmm. We could do top left is equal to center point minus uh, the width and the height divided by two. So that's going to be, uh, let me think here, V2 and the width and the height divided by two. So we're going to go, yeah, where's my shit? I want to copy and paste from something, but I don't want to look for it. So we're just going to do width times um, Right there we go. Sprite codex and tile. Fucking give me my IntelliSense, bitch. Tile size. Okay, fuck. I don't need your IntelliSense now. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it live. Fuck it. We're doing it live. All right. Uh, seriously though. Oh yeah, because you're pissed off because yeah, okay. Well, I'll get to you in a second. And then we're gonna divide by two. So we'll just put a divide by two after that. I did define division. I did, I did do that right. Okay. So now you're pissed off. Great. Let's go back to your deal. What do you want? Is it? Yeah, minus is fine. All right. So what are you bitching about? Right. Constant V2 ampersand center. Okay. What do you think? It's all good. Toggle back. What do you think? It's all good. So we do, this is just a vector that uh, represents the width and the height of the field. You divide by that by two, and you subtract that from the center point to get the top left-hand corner of the field. Good to go. All right, now we just got to go into our friend game.cpp. Ah, one last thing. I also want to 
once again add to the graphics. Ah, wrong one. Graphics.h. I want to add the get rect function. So uh, we'll just put it right here, I guess. So we'll put it up here. Sure. Uh, rect i get rect mate const. When we implement that, it's going to look something like this. Notice that because we're using rect i, integer rectangle, we don't have to convert screen width screen height to floating point. Bonus. All right, so now we can get the rectangle of the screen. So all we got to do in game.cpp is we'll go uh, graphics dot, and of course you're not going to like it because you fucking hate me, get rect dot get center. And we'll pass that in to the constructor. Wait. Make sure you call the function. All right, so now if I build this, it should work. We should get a nice field in the center of the screen. And we do. It looks about the center. I don't know. Maybe it's off by a little bit. Let me check with my finger. It does actually look off by a little bit on the, on the top and the top and bottom seems off a little. So let's just fucking debug that shit right now. So we're gonna go to meme field. We're gonna... Fuck. See, the problem I don't like about debugging this shit is... It, when it's up here, you, I, don't think, I don't think I can set a breakpoint here, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. What about this version? Oh wait, I can, maybe I can. Maybe I can. So we'll go to autos. What do you like? Center is okay. The center is correct. All right. So that's width times tile size. Width times tile size. I don't even need to look at this shit to figure out what's wrong here. So that's what you get when you copy and paste. Height. Height times tile size. Let's get rid of that. Build. And debug. Okay, that looks better. That's pretty much smack dab in the center. Of the screen, okay, I tried clicking on it, it said failed, abort. Try it again. See if I click here, again, nothing. If I click here, oh, I can, I can open these ones up. So what the fuck is going on? Well, I mean, our, che our checking, our conversion function, let's just toggle here. Our conversion function that converts from screen to grid isn't aware of this top left variable so it's assuming that the grid starts at you know zero zero which is a bad assumption to make at this point uh and the re and then you would think okay well if it assumes that it's zero zero when i click here it should open these guys up but it doesn't and the reason why is because of the rectangle test the rectangle is aware that we're starting from here so it it never gets this uh field never gets this message because it's being rejected in game.cpp with the rectangle test in here. Let me check in here. Uh, here, when I... Uh, where is it? Here, when I check if field.getRect contains a mouse position. So that's why it doesn't work when I click here. But when I click here, you can see that it is doing the offset to here. So, let us fix this bullshit. How are we going to do that? Well, we just have to fix that function, don't we? And everything should be peachy keen, copacetic. What is it? Screen to grid. Let's go to definition. So here we're doing screen position divided by tile size. What we gotta do is we gotta do screen position minus top left. And then we can do divided by tile size. And that should, because if we subtract top left, that means that when we're clicking here, it's actually going to be turned into zero, 0, which is what you want to do before you do your division. So that's fine. Click here, now we get the good thing. Now the good thing happens, if I click enough times, I should... I see, I need more... This is... Yeah, there we go, there we go. Need more memes. Always need more memes. Okay, so... This should be the center drawing thing done. Uh, let's commit that change. Changes. So, drawing field center of screen. Good to go. Next, uh, let's draw a little border around this fucker. So, 
Mm, we're going to go into... Uh, where is it? I can never find my shit. Mm, field. First I've got to remember what I called it. And then I've got a meme field. That's what it is. And then I've got to find it. And it's just annoying while I'm talking. It's not good. Okay, so static const expression int uh, border thickness is equal to 5, 10 pixels, we'll say. Okay, and I find my one key. Uh, what else? Static const expression color border color is equal to colors blue seems fine to me okay now what we're gonna do to draw the border is we're gonna be incredibly lazy we're gonna be incredibly lazy instead of drawing four rectangles around the thing I'm just gonna draw one rectangle behind it which is inefficient but saves me effort which is efficient it's efficient in my time it is inefficient in the CPU's time but the CPU is my bitch, so I don't give a fuck. Alright, so graphics dot draw rect um, get rect dot expand get expanded and we'll do, uh, what is it again? Border thickness and then we're gonna do uh, bore, no, border color and that's all you should need to do. We'll draw this rectangle, we'll draw this rectangle on top of that rectangle. And then we'll draw the actual grid sprites. Of course, a lot of this is going to be wasted because it's just covered up by this guy. But, again, like I said, give no fucks. Actually, don't give no fucks. There we go. So now we've got a nice blue border around our shit. And it looks a little nicer, I guess. I don't know. If that's your thing, then that is your thing. Uh... Field border done. There we go. Commit that. Didn't make too many commits in the video because I forgot. I was too engrossed in my uh, my narration. But I should have committed more often. Anyways, so. Border done. Now, last thing we want to do is we want to... Uh, oh, one, one thing I just wanted to say is that because we created this helper function that converted screen to grid... That made this a lot nicer, right? Because if we didn't have this function, we'd have to worry about every place where screen coordinates were being converted to grid. Specifically on these onClick functions. But if you make a helper function, then later on when you've got to change something, you've only got to change it in one place, and it fixes it here and here. And that's, that's just, I don't know, it's just the great thing about creating helper functions. But mm, that's enough of that bullshit. Let us tackle the second challenge, which was to handle the game win. So what we need is we need a function to test if the user has won. So there's a bunch of ways we can do this. We can scan through the entire uh, grid every time the user does something. Uh, and that's one way we could do things. Uh, another way we could do things is we could keep a count of how many um, bombs the user flagged, and when the count reaches the number of bombs, then we could, you know, go to game. That that means game is won. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it the, the lazy way and just have it scan through all of the tiles every time we check for a win. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go bool uh, game is one const and we'll implement that we will create definition and we're just going to scan through every tile so we're going to go for each uh, tile it's constant because we're not going to be changing them that's not how you smell. That's not how you smell it, bitch. Uh, constant tile T in tiles. Is that what I called it? I cannot remember if that's what I called it. No, that's not what I called it. Maybe I called it field. That is what I called it. 
All right, so for every tile T in our field, we want to do what? Um, so if T dot has mean and not T dot is flagged, return false. So if it has a meme that isn't flagged, that means that we're not, we haven't won yet, so just return false. Otherwise, if you scan through the entire field and you cannot find a unflagged meme, that means that the game has been won. Wait. That's bad. I've just, I've just thought of this at the moment and I've saved myself some trouble. Uh, return true. Okay, so this is bad. So here's a challenge for you. Why will this fail? Have you got it? Okay. Well, I'm, I imagine the user just spams flags and just flags every tile on the field. Then, then it would just return true and they all, that's, you just win the game. You can win by just flagging every single tile. Uh, probably not what you want to do. So, the game is won. The win condition should be that only bombs are flagged, all bombs are flagged, and no non-bomb tiles are, are flagged. So to do that, you should do... Uh, or... That's actually not really right. That's not how you win, right? Because you could do that, I mean, you could do that by trial and error, just flagging tiles until the, the win is triggered, without ever revealing a single tile. No. Okay, I'm just thinking dumb here. It should be all memes are flagged and all non-memes are revealed. So if has meme and flagged. I'm not sure about the order of operations, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a I'm gonna put a thing here. So if has meme and flagged or Uh, t dot mm, has meme or doesn't have meme and not t dot is revealed then return false let me just put the thing here there we go so all memes have to be flagged all non-memes have to be revealed, then you win. Then you win. If any one tile does not satisfy those conditions, then you lose. So if has meme and not flagged, or does not have meme and is not revealed, yes. Not meme and not revealed. So either of these are sufficient for it to return early, false. Otherwise, if none of the if none of the tiles satisfy this condition, then that means you must have won the game. Good. All right. So, a little bit of logic there. Almost fucked myself over, but I didn't. So now we have the the game is one check. Uh what do we want to do with it? Uh well, let me think here. Let me think. Uh, what we're gonna do is in game.cpp game.cpp compose frame so do we have a function to check if the game is lost? We don't have a function to check if the game is won. We should probably put one of those in there. I'm going to do it quite inefficiently here. Quite inefficiently. Uh, bool game is lost. Constant. So game is one is going to do that. Let's also put one in. Uh, we'll just... Nah. I'm going to be consistent here. I was just going to put it there, but I figured now nah, I'm going to... Is fucked. Is fucked. Return is fucked. So, if we're fucked, that means we lost. 
So there we go. Game is won. Game is lost. And what else do we want? Okay, so. If. Field dot. What the fuck? Uh, I put it in the wrong place, didn't I? Go back to field. Meme field. There it is. Game is won. Game is lost. These have to be public. And if we go back to game.cpp, now we can do, now we can do the thing. Field dot, so if field that game is lost, I mean, it's not really that important, is it? To know if game is lost. That's going to be handled inside of this one. But if game is won, we want to draw the win screen. So, you know what? We don't actually need that game is lost bullshit. If game, no, if field dot game is one, and we're gonna do what? Then we're gonna go mm, sprite. I don't have sprite codex, do I? Well, let's go up here. Pound sign include sprite codex. There we go. Okay. Sprite codex. Draw. 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 Win. There we go. Uh, position is going to be center of the screen. So we do graphics.get rect.get center and graphics. There we go. So we draw the win if the game is won. And if the game is lost, then it's just going to do its thing. So what I want to do is I want to go into here and I want to make it play a sound if we lose the game. You know, normally I put the sound stuff in game, but today I'm just going to put it directly in the meme field because it make, it'll make my life easier. So, sound, no, sound.h, there we go. And we are going to include a sound in here, aren't we? Yes, we are. Sound, uh, lose, no, we'll call it sound lose, is equal to shroud, sound, and I can't remember where I put it. I think I just put it in the root. In here, right? Yep. Spade.wave. So let's load up spade.wave. Spade.wave. And framework works with wide characters. So I gotta put the L in front. Let's go to sound. There we go. Okay. Just, just took a while. So we'll load that up when we construct the object, and then um, when we lose, we want to play this sound, but we only want to play it once. So how's that going to work? Uh, so on reveal click is probably where we're going to do it. It's a little messy, it's a little spaghetti, but it's fine. On reveal is fucked equal to true, and um, sound lose dot play. There we go. So we'll play the sound when we get pucked, and if we are in the win state, game.cpp, we're going to draw a win on top of the field. Good. All right. I'm liking this. Let's play. So first off, I need my sound. All right. Speaker is set up. Hopefully it's not too loud. All right. Seems fine. Let's play. File name spade dot waff. All right, spade spade dot waff. I think I might know what the problem is. Just just a wild guess. That might need to be a V. No, build it. Start without debugging. No, no. There we go. Okay. All right, we did it. All right. All right. Sweet. It looks like the wave is working. Uh, a little bit loud for me, but it worked. 
now what I want to do is I want to chat test the wind condition, which is going to be a pain in the ass because with there's too many bombs and shit. So I'm going to turn this down to a four by three field. And I'm going to go into game.cpp and I'm going to change this to four bombs. I don't know why, to be, to be honest with you, I don't know why I made it so you have to pass this in. But the width and the height are constant. doesn't matter. It's easily changed if you want it to change. All right, here we go. So, fuck me. <laughs> okay, come on. All right. Duh. No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is actually harder than I imagined. It. No! Okay, okay, good. So that means I can reveal these guys here. This is only one, so it's got to be one here. Um, one, two. Okay, now it's dangerous. If it's this one, oh, I did it. He's done it. He's done it, the madman. That means this one and this one. Beautiful. Congratulation. A winrar is you. All right, beautiful. This is the future of mine sweeping. Uh, actually, there was one last thing I wanted to test. All right, so when you got it on the windscreen here, I believe that there's nothing stopping you from continuing on to click this. If I right click this here, yeah, I can unflag it and, and it's, it's kind of it's kind of weird. So you probably want the user not to be able to, you know, do the do this when after they won. So what we can do is, um, I mean, we could just the, the lazy way to do this would be, uh, you know, if not field dot game is one so i mean if we do it if we do it this way it'll work right it's gonna work all right that actually took forever but i've managed to get back to the windscreen and now if i try to right click you can see i can't do shit so i mean this will work but it's i mean it's super inefficient right we are having to scan through every tile on the goddamn uh field twice every single frame no matter if you're doing something or not it's kind of inefficient so what i'm gonna do is uh first of all i'm gonna do uh so win lose all done badly there we go fix that now what we're gonna do is uh we are gonna go into meme field here and uh just below the uh, tile class here, we're going to add a public section. Public. Public. And we're going to go enum. Class. And I'll just call it state. I don't know. It seems fine to me. So this is going to be the state of the minefield. So the state is going to be... Uh, fucked. One. Win. Winrar. And... Me memeing. That's how you spell memeing, right? Uh, so three states fucked Renoir and uh, memeing. And now what we're going to do is instead of doing bool is fucked, we're just going to go state state is equal to memeing. No, wait. Is equal to state memeing. There we go. So this is going to break some shit. I anticipate shit being broken. And here we're just going to go uh, state get state const. And let's create a definition of that. And we're just going to return state. And this has got to be meme field in here. Let's promote that to a document. Okay, so shit is going to get broken on flag click so if state is equal to state memeing then we will respond to clicks clickety clickety and if we go up here we're going to do the same for here and that should fix some red game is won game is lost ah we don't we knew we do want to keep this one uh, let's copy that. Copy that. Toggle. 
and we're going to put that down here in the private functions. So the, uh, the end user isn't going to be able to call that one. And toggle that. So, game is one. What else do we need here? Is fucked equal to true? So, on reveal click, if it if we blow shit up, set us up the bomb, we want to do state. Is equal to state. Fucked. There we go. And if tile that has meme else. And here's where things get interesting. Not really. Uh, else we check to see if we have this action has won the game. Uh, so we go else if... No. Else. No. If. Game is one. State is equal to state winrar. There we go. So now we're only going to call games one every time the, the player takes an action, which is much more efficient than calling it twice per frame. Uh, now up here, draw is fucked. This is no good. Uh, we can't pass in is fucked. We're going to pass in the state. The current state. And this is the, uh, the dude is not going to like this. The tile dude is not going to like that. So we want to put in here state. Yes, just state is fine because this is inside of uh, meme field, so it knows about state. And, oh, fuck, because there's, ah, there is, mm, there's tile state and then there's meme field state. So that was dangerous. Let's go meme field state. This is the good thing. You don't know about state yet, so gotta put this one up here so that you know about state of meme field. Good. Now, toggle. Go up here. Draw is got to be meme field state. Good. Yes, you like ye. Uh, so, if not fucked. So, if why did I... This has got to be state, not fucked. State. Good. If state is not equal to st meme field state fuck you. State fucked. Alright, so if it's not fucked that's not a T. There we go. Then we do this. Otherwise, we do this. Now state revealed Constant expression has type instead of the required meme field state type. Alright, why are you... Ah! Oh! Okay, so there... Ah, this is a problem. We I can't use the name state because state is also being used inside of tile uh, to refer to its internal state. So I've got to do field state. So this uh, local variable was covering up the uh, the member variable of state. All right, now everyone is probably happy except for game.cpp. Not so happy. So now we do if field dot get state is equal to uh, meme field state winrar. Then we do this, and in here. Uh, we're only going to process these messages if we are memeing. So, if field dot get state is equal to meme field state memeing, then we do this. So now we're only processing these. Oh fuck, no. We can't do it that way because we have to. It's, it's good practice to process messages, even if you don't dispatch them. To pull them out of the queue. Don't let them build up in the queue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this inside here. And I'm going to pull this out of here. Put it in here. Then I'm going to... 
tab this over. And then I'm going to tab this back. And that should be okay. So now we, we pull all the messages out of the queue, but we only process them first if we're memeing. And second, if they correspond to messages that we're interested in. Build that. Alright. Now things should be good. They should work the same as before, but more efficiently. Alright, so I did it. I won. And if I try to do that, no good. I can't click anymore. I can't do shit. And if I do this and just click randomly, yeah, I lose. So everything is working now. Everything is more efficient. And that, my friends, I believe is the homework. As usual, if you have any questions, any suggestions, any observations, let me know on the places. And I will see you soon with some more C++.